Hello and welcome back everyone to DMC3 on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries and in this episode we'll be going up and finally finishing the climb up Temen Negru. Hey Arkham. Purple lights. Purple lights, purple action. Mm. Ah yes, the broadsword Sparta. I think it's technically just a longsword actually, but he uses it like it's a broadsword, so... Ha, huh. yes. The hilt of a sword with a head like mine. Perfect. So by using, uh, by using Dante and Virgil's mother's amulet, I call her that because at this point in the series we don't know her name. As a matter of fact, I don't think that DMC Devil May Cry actually gave us her name either. Or at least officially gave us her name. <laughs> 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 And by removing Sparta from its sealing place in this random rocky outcrop, Arkham has obtained the power of the devil arm Sparta. I did it. Uh, oh, well, that's I, I saw it. I saw the 17. Yet. It was it was in the rock formation on the bottom left. Cool. I don't think I've ever actually no, I caught that one either. Okay, mm. I was actually ready this time. <laughs> mm. All right. So. This this level is mostly vertical platforming as we're finally nearing the top of Temenigru. We do have a key item to go pick up, but um, I, I have to say it again. The latter half of DMC3 is mostly filler levels, <laughs> and DMC1 <laughs> has this problem too. I don't know if it's in DMC4, the latter or, half. or rather uh, DMC, uh, DMC2, and uh, DMC5 has this problem a little bit, but like it's very blatant in, DMC, in DMC3. I do believe that we have no there's one more there's one more unique enemy type that we have yet to encounter and I don't think we encounter it during no we do encounter it during this level hello Super Mario Sunshine platforms stop throwing me off I need to use you to get up on this god damn it Thankfully, there are multiple ways to get up. <laughs> That's blooper surfing. This is not blooper surfing. <laughs> You're climbing the clock tower. It's the 15th stage in Super Mario 64. Any it's also the thing that they use for blooper surfing. Any second now, we're going to see the sparkies on the ground blocking your platforming. <laughs> All right. There, uh, if you go through that door, I believe there's a combat adjudicator that requires either Naven or Beowulf in order to take down. However, we don't need to go through that door, so we're just going to continue doing vertical fucking platforming. Uh, pretty much everyone has always had the same complaint uh, that uh, DMC, uh, DMC's ver uh, vertical platforming segments have never been good. I argue that for the most part, DMC 3's vertical platforming is okay, mostly because there's like a total of four instances of it, and the four instances that we have aren't so egregious. Oh my God. But yeah, DMC 1's vertical platforming is a bit too prevalent, and... Uh, DMC4 actually doesn't have, like, only has, like, two instances oh. of vertical platforming oh, that I can remember. There is the, this is the uh, final uh, Jester fight that, we'll, that we will be doing. This is Jester 3. We skip Jester 2. Oh, sweet. Welcome to hell! Welcome to hell! Except it's not hell. Uh, uh, for the most part, this fight plays out exactly the same as uh, Jester 1 did, though, so, which is why I didn't bother to show off Jester 2. Yep, and confetti comes out of him every time you hit him. I love it. And Stinger. He does. This fight does change up slightly once you get him down to uh, once you get him into phase two, which requires him to be at about half health. See, showtime. And then stylish. Stylish. Max out your stylish, bro. Yeah. And whoosh. Ultra super party time. Okay. Oh, and whoosh. like if Bugs Bunny was a boss. 
Uh, except Bugs Bunny would be more entertaining because he'd actually be using a lot more uh, movement and, uh, and uh, illusory spells. Yeah, and every time you hit him, carrots come out. The reason why I'm not uh, on, on just their space right here is because the camera doesn't really allow me to uh, uh, anticipate where the uh, know, where the uh, bouncing orbs would actually be while I'm on his face. So, like, yeah. Well, you got to wait for him to, you know, hold still. And, okay, he's at half health now. And he's changing it up a little. Uh, uh, not quite. Uh, you'll, know, you'll know when he actually enters uh, phase two because he will gain an accessory. Welcome to hell. Bastard! God, All right, and the, the now he I'm should be summoning his accessory. <laughs> All right, what's your what's your desperation state? Here we go. There we go. Uh oh. He summons Majora's ma uh, the Majora's Mask Moon. Uh oh. And yes, for the re for the remainder of the fight, he's yeah. going to be on top of this while he can. Uh oh. He starts some he starts summoning the, uh, the door hands. He starts summoning the uh, door hands. Uh, uh, uh And uh, the uh, Majora's Mask Moon is something that you're supposed to take down Jesus. to knock him into his stun state. Jesus, Good. stupid hand. Okay, now that he's gone, gone there. So I, well, can you damage him by hitting the moon? Uh, you can't damage him by hitting the moon, but you can, but you can take the moon away from him if you do enough damage to it. Yeah, but we don't have to because this is new game plus, and our weapons are more powerful. No, our weapons are not more powerful, but uh, we don't have to because our weapons do enough damage if we know what we're doing to, you know, just uh, effectively ignore uh, ignore that mechanic. Bye, Jester. And that is the last time we will see Jester throughout the game. Uh, that's okay. Wait, I think I think we've seen just about all the Jester we need to. Yeah. He dances. He laughs. He he dances some more. And confetti comes out when you hit him. Mm, forced combat encounter. What are we fighting? Ah, damn it! Fucking Spiral Knights. Order of the Spiral Knights. And this is why I don't like uh, I don't like it when they throw spiral knights at us because look he is just sitting there. Yeah. And I can't do anything on, uh, to him because he's because because his back's to a wall. What? Yeah. Well, I mean you can move. Spiral you knights are in on honestly him a an interesting enemy uh, design. It's just that no, they're they're not fucking worth it. Honestly, you could have replaced that with uh, with a uh, normal prides and we would have gone through that significantly faster and with more style points. Don't get hurt now, because this is this is the stuff that shuts down runs on the way to bosses. Uh, it doesn't hurt that much if you get hit by the spikes, but it hurts enough. It hurts enough to where you feel bad about it. Yeah, it's a they're, they're playing mind games. And so now that uh, now that we have gotten through the uh, the cha uh, the cha the uh, trial of skill, yeah, that's what that room is called. Trial of skill. skill. Talk to the hand. New enemy type. This is the abyss. Uh, the abyss sin, and the abyss sin is honestly a really interesting enemy type in that he has dedicated count. He has dedicated counter scripting. As in, if you do, uh, if you, uh, uh, if you perform specific actions on him, um, he will end up uh, countering with with particular attacks. Specifically, if you manage, if you knock him away while he is not on his back. Um, he will end up uh, doing a counterattack charge at you, and um, it can actually hurt quite a bit. So, um, one of the more interesting things about my current setup is the fact that I affect, I have the ability to mostly ignore the uh, the abyss mechanic um, if I actually loop if I actually loop my uh, my attacks correctly. Nice. Yeah, it's the one where like he crouches forward, he sinks into the ground, and then he comes back with a counter strike. Uh, no, his counter his counter strike doesn't have him sink into the ground. He actually just flips back uh, up and and does a uh, dash attack at us. Gotcha. The moonlight. He did it a bit off screen uh, in that fight, but you know, it was off screen, so we didn't get to see it. All right, the dark pack chamber, which is outer space, bro. No, we're not in outer space. We're just in lower atmosphere. Lower atmosphere. <sighs> the cloud of darkness from Final Fantasy 
Four, yes, four. Looks like it's time to start the show. Well, it's time to fight our inner demons. The Chamber of Introspection. Yep. So what, this dude has all of our moves? Yes, actually. Doppelganger has all of our moves, uh, specifically if we were using Beowulf. The thing is, um, not only are we not using Beowulf, but we won't get to see most of what Doppelganger does in this fight. Because, uh... <sighs> Alright, I will say that of the, lo the latter half of the uh, bosses in DMC3 are significantly easier than they honestly should be. Uh, however, Doppelganger is more or less a puzzle boss. Apparition and in order, act, in order to actually deal damage to Doppelganger, you have to you have to trap him in uh, in the uh, in the uh, in the well in these light zones. And when, in order to trap him into these light zones, you bait you bait him into attacking you. You dodge his attack, and then you open up the light zone itself. I see. Uh, getting a stylish rank on Doppelganger is not something I know how to do. Uh, wow. Mostly because, I'll, uh, yeah, uh, mostly goes. because, although this happens when you uh, uh, open up all of not all of the uh, uh, light zones, he's not vulnerable uh, long enough for uh, for us to really get up to us uh, get up to a uh, triple S stylish. You got to bait him into attacking so that he's in the range because he will not enter the light voluntarily. Yeah, he will not enter the light voluntarily. Got to be tricked. Whoosh. For this fight, for some reason, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, light zones are actually triggered by by three uh, rebellion strikes. The uh, the next time that we fight this boss, which will be next part, yeah, next uh, part. Too early. Um, uh, too early. Oh, he also has the ability to shut down the light zones. Well, he has if to. There, if there are too many, if there are too many active. But they're which, all uh, makes active. this fight last a little bit longer than it should be. He can't escape the light now. He's going to he's going to douse the lights once more. While well, he has a sliver oh. of health left. Yeah, we dodged forcing it. Forcing the issue that we have to conduct another boss cycle. He fell for it. This is this is honestly this is a joke. This is a for me specifically. This is a fucking joke of a fight. I understand that this fight is actually a relatively difficult if you if you don't understand the puzzle here. But um, the puzzle is actually mostly self-explanatory here. Yeah, so at this point, you can just light up the rest of the chamber and end him. Uh, no, because he actually moves fast. Uh, he actually shuts down the light sources faster than we can, uh, uh, faster than we can actually uh, uh, not open them up. Oh, I see. And they don't stay up permanently either. You gotta, wait, wait a little bit, Pascal. I don't want to wait. He's almost dead. In. I know, but you got when you Dark Souls, the boss is not dead until his health is zero, son. There. Deaded. Very good. Yeah, Doppelganger is way too fucking easy for me. That was stupid. And, we, and because we defeated another Devil May Cry boss, we get it. Well, we get an added power. Click. Yes, we have gained the doppel the doppelganger uh, combat style. It doesn't level up, so I don't bother to fucking use it. It eats up your devil trigger, so I don't bother to fucking use it. But what it does is it summons a doppelganger of Dante to allow you to to have effectively double damage. It is honestly a really interesting thing if you know how the fuck to manipulate it. Like but for guns? a majority of the bosses in the game, it's not actually all that. Um, uh, relevant or powerful because well the bosses are really designed for Dante to do one uh, one on one and this becomes very apparent when we go into Arkham uh. but thus ends the, uh, mission 17 as seen in episode 17 oh, we didn't get S on time damn it mm. but we did get S on style and damage woohoo so I, let me ask you a question what are, we, what are we doing next part? Next part is our famous Capcom thing. Woo.